What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Your Sanctuary. Thanks for tuning in. So I bought four of these beautiful wheels at Home Depot. It was about $13 and change. And so I have this huge pallet that came with the uh, shipping materials of the yurt. And I'm, I'm gonna turn it into uh, some sort of sofa, a seating area. Um, it's very heavy. Friendly reminder, hit that like button guys and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. So this is the pallet. I'm going to take it outside so we can sand it down. We used a belt sander with 80 grit sandpaper, smoothed it with steel wool, then touched it up with old English scratch cover for wood. So now we're going to take the pallet back in the yurt so that I can put the wheels on. All right, let me get all my tools organized. I'm drilling pilot holes before so that I can screw these in. And these um, have a self-lock mechanism. And then when I want to move it out of the way, I can just unlock them. Yeah. To avoid these nails in the pallets, I made templates and took it with me to Home Depot to match against the wheel holes. Smart cookie! I'm marking the wheel holes on the pallet with a sharpie so that I know exactly where to drill the pilot holes. So now that I have all my pilot holes drilled in, it's time to screw in all the wheels. them nice and tight. I love this tool. Okay, so all four wheels are on. It's got kind of a rustic look to it. I'm not sure if I want to keep it that way. What do you think, guys? Give me some ideas down in the comments. So the wheels are on. I created a sofa out of a pallet. Yay! That's what I'm talking about. Creativity Cuepa. So this is what um this is what I created. Look. It's very comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> so all recyclable materials. The cover that I have there was a bedspread cover that I had in my closet for like three years without using. The cushions underneath it, I had three cushions which were part of a tatami bed that I had um, in the basement in storage. I removed one of the cushions, it, had, it was three layers. And the pallet was free, it came with the shipping materials of my yurt and I saved it. So um, the only thing that I bought was the um, the screws and the four wheels. Each wheel cost $13 and change. And so it's so comfortable. I'm so proud of it. And you can do this too. You can do this too. 
So I hope you um, learned something from this video. And if you did, hit that like button. Thank you guys. Until the next one.